Okay, so first I'm going to start off with um, L'Oreal True Match Concealer as my eye base. I'm just applying that with a flat brush and then patting it out with um, my fingers to help blend. Then I'm going to go in with my Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Finish Powder um, to set that concealer ready for the eyeshadow. Taking a fluffy brush, I'm going to go in with the NYX Matte Bronzer and just pop it through the crease for our transition shade. I'm just going to slowly build up with this colour. Um, don't put too much on the brush at once, you want to build up with this to get a nice blend and an even finish. And here I'm just taking a clean fluffy brush just to help blend that out too, so I'm using two brushes here. So next I'm going to take the shade Chickadee from my Makeup Geek palette and I'm going to apply this in the same place I applied the first shadow. Again, just building up really slowly to help add definition. And these um, shadows I really recommend because they're really easy to blend and the pigment's amazing. So next, taking two cream eyeshadows um, and mixing them together. These are Jean and Betty from Charlotte Tilbury. I'm just going to mix them all together and pat all over the lid. And I'm just going to go slightly a bit higher than the lid as well. I'm actually obsessed with these cream eyeshadows. Um, they're just so easy and quick to use. And I really struggle doing a lot without them now because I'm so used to them. But yeah, I really, really recommend these. And this is the shade Betty and Jean. Okay, so next I'm just going to take a pigment from MAC called Melon and place it on top of the cream. Um, it's almost like a peachy gold, this colour. And it's a really subtle pigment. Um, I also like to use these pigments as highlighters sometimes because they're so subtle. So now I'm taking my most used eyeshadow uh, from Makeup Geek again, it's called Coco Bear and I'm just applying this with a smaller fluffier brush, a smaller fluffy brush should I say, and more directly to the crease, not taking it up as high um, and again just building this colour up and blending out with a clean brush as well. Next, I'm going to take another Makeup Geek shadow in the shade In The Spotlight and apply this directly to the centre of the lid. So for a winged out liner, I always like to use my Maybelline Gel Pot and I'm using that on a angle brush. And I'm just following that tape that I've got there underneath my eye and um, that'll allow me to get a perfect winged out line and um, it'll also be very crisp. And then I'm gonna take another brush and softly blend over that liner just so it's not so harsh. So to line the bottom and top lash line, I'm just taking my Morphe black pencil. This is by far the best black pencil I've ever used. And then for my lashes, I am using Tatty Lashes in TL7. Here I'm just taking my gel liner again and connecting the inner corner and dragging it in more. This is going to give more of a cat eye look and make the look a lot more dramatic. To fill my brows in, I like to use an angled brush and here I'm using it with the Morphe Brow Cream in shade Latte. 
I don't really like a bold brow. I like more of a soft, fluffy look. Um, so I'm just filling my brows in with soft, fine hair strokes to make it look as natural as possible. I'm just filling in any sparse areas, really. Mainly the front for me. Um, I like to do upward strokes to create that fluffy look. Now for my favourite part which is the skin. I've already prepped my skin with moisturiser and then I'm going to go in with my two favourite foundations which is the NARS All Day Luminous and Luminous Silk Foundation from Armani. Now I usually like to use a natural to medium coverage but here I am going to go for a medium to full so you'll see me building up the foundation. I don't put it all on at once. I'm going to go in with a brush first and then use my beauty blender to really press the product into my skin. So for contour, I tend to always use cream first or a liquid first. Um, so here I'm going in with the L'Oreal True Match Concealer in a much darker shade. Um, I find that it just blends a lot easier, especially for my skin tone because I'm so fair. If I use powder only, it can go a bit muddy um, and it's just not as even as this. So I like to start off with a cream first or a liquid. Once that's all blended, I've gone straight in with my concealer. Now this is a very full coverage concealer. It's the Tarte Shape Tape and I'm using two shades here. Um, I like to go a bit lighter with my concealer to give me that highlighted look. So I always like to use my damp beauty blender to blend in my concealer no matter what concealer I use. I just find it gives the best finish. So to set my under eyes, I always like to use the Huda Beauty Loose Powder in Pound Cake. Um, I usually bake for around 5 minutes, so I'll wipe this powder off after about 5 minutes once it's set. So for my blusher, I'm using the MAC Extra Dimension Blush in the shade Just A Pinch. This is by far my favourite, favourite blush colour. It's more, almost like a peachy tone. Um, I find that it just works best for my skin tone. So as you can see, I've gone in with my bronzer now just to set that cream contour that I applied before. I'm using the NYX Matte Bronzer that I also put through the crease at the beginning of the video. So this is where I just like to wipe off that excess powder once it's baked and then I'm getting that bronzer brush again and just connecting the eyeshadow onto my temples. I find that it gives a really blown out soft finish and ties the look together. So for this look I didn't want to apply too much highlighter, I just wanted a subtle glow. So instead of a pressed powder I'm using a loose glitter powder and this is a highlighter powder from a Versace and it's called Lights All Over. It's just a subtle champagne tone. So here going back in with Coco Bear from Makeup Geek at taking a clean brush, I'm going to get as close as I can to that bottom lash line and really really smoke that out. So just taking any mascara, I'm going to fill in my bottom lashes and then also going to add a little bit on my top lashes as well to help blend that strip in with my natural lashes. Mm -hmm. 
To line my lips, I'm using the NYX lip liner in the shade Beyond Nude. I'm just slightly overlining my natural lips. Then just taking the soft matte lip cream in the shade Abu Dhabi, this is from NYX, and applying that all over the lips, and then I'm going to take a clean lip brush and just blend the liner in. So to finish the lip colour off, I always like to add more of a matte, lighter colour in the middle. Um, and there I just used a brand called London Copyright in the shade Allure. Alright, so here I'm deciding I really don't like the gloss. So I'm just dabbing that off because I wanted more of a semi-matte finish. So I'm just finishing this look off by spraying my Kiko Finishing Mist and then that's the look complete. Please let me know what look you'd like to see next and thank you so much for watching.